Hey guys, welcome to another reading vlog. I thought I should do it now because next week Animal Crossing is coming out. So I'll probably be doing audiobook listening, but not much physical reading. We'll see. But I'm so excited for Animal Crossing. But also this video is being sponsored by Skillshare once again, which I'm so, so thankful for. So I'll talk about them later. But obviously let's talk about the reading plans. Also, my tattoo has like completely healed now and I love it so much but this is my new friend in case you missed my last video anyway so my reading plans so I actually just filmed my owls TBR and one of the books on there is Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire but I said in that video that I'm planning to read some of this during March which is March now and then finish it in April so I'm currently like literally on chapter two I think yeah chapter two but I'm really in the Harry Potter mood and I can't wait to just you know with everything going on in the world just be cozy in this world with these characters that I love so I really just need this comfort read at the moment so I'm so excited actually I'm planning to read some of this today but I'm actually reading the illustrated edition it's just really heavy to hold but yeah I'm reading the illustrated edition and I also have this open while I read the illustrated edition so I can annotate throughout <laughs> but yes yeah, so that's my physical reading plans and for my audiobook I'm actually planning to start soon The Haunting of Ashburn House by Darcy Coates and this is a horror and the reason I really want to read this is because I heard Kat talk about it recently Kat from Paperback Dreams she said it was like a comfy haunted house horror story so that makes me excited <laughs> and I just love a good haunted house story so yeah also it's only nine hours which is really short for an audiobook really so I'm planning to start that soon because I'm actually going to film a journal video so I'll listen to that while I do that and after that I'm planning to physically read some of Goblet of Fire and then tonight I'm actually probably going to watch Euphoria I started that last night the TV show and I don't know how I feel about it so far it's really intense it's really dark so it's really hard for me to watch like I'm literally holding my breath the whole time while I'm watching that show but I do really like aspects of it I don't know I'm still deciding how I feel about it but it definitely makes you want to keep watching and find out what happens and everything but yeah Callan and I started that so we're probably going to watch that tonight because basketball has been cancelled and everything because of everything going on which by the way I just wanted to say that I hope you're all well and I know this is a really difficult time I wish I could give everyone a hug but I hope this vlog can provide a distraction or comfort or anything like that so but anyway so I'm going to film my journal video now start the book I'm so excited to start that audiobook and yeah I'll check in with you soon okay so I finished filming my journal video it took longer than expected I swear it always does but I can read for a little bit before Callan comes I have my books here oh my gosh it's literally so heavy so I kind of have to read it at a desk but yeah I'm gonna read now I'm so excited I don't think I'll be able to read for long because Callan's gonna come soon and we're probably just gonna hang out straight away but I can read for a little bit and I'm going to light my candle I'm going to have my Animal Crossing rainy day music in the background if you're interested it is this one and it's amazing so yeah I'm gonna start reading remembered I didn't even update you on my audiobook. <laughs> I did read quite a bit I think. I'm on chapter 12 now so I have 6 hours and 42 minutes remaining and I definitely agree with Kat at the moment it's just like a nice cozy horror story it's definitely not really horror at the moment like it's not scary at the moment but you know we do have the haunted house setting and it is like creepy but it's nothing too scary and i don't think it will be too scary but it's just fun and cozy that is really the word so yeah definitely enjoying it but anyway yeah i just realized i forgot to tell you that but back to reading <laughs>
it's been like over a week I think. I have been really sick this week so I haven't been vlogging. Thankfully I'm feeling a lot better now. I'm not like 100% but I'm nearly there. So anyway I'm actually about to go live on YouTube soon so I've just set up my little area. I have my bean bag and everything. I'm planning to do like a read with me slash game with me live. I think that'll be really fun. But before I go live, I wanted to update the vlog and tell you about the reading that I've done. Oh, and also Animal Crossing came out. So I've been playing a lot of Animal Crossing and it's everything I could have asked for. If you want to know, my villages that I got are Plucky and Dom. I have apples for my fruit and I really hate Plucky. I really love Dom, but Plucky is just not my favorite. Plucky is really rude. Yeah. So I'm excited for more villages to come. <laughs> but yeah, I'm loving Animal Crossing so much. I'm so happy it's finally here. It feels like I've been waiting so long. But anyway, I have been listening to more of my audiobook while I've been playing. So I actually only have three hours and 38 minutes remaining. So I'm over halfway through and I'm still enjoying it. It's definitely not too scary and it's like not amazing or anything. I'm just like listening to it. It's just fun at the moment, but it's nothing like amazing. But yeah, and then I've also made some more progress with Goblet of Fire. I'm now on page 248 and this is obviously the perfect book to be reading right now like it's just making me feel so happy and cozy and safe so I'm just absolutely loving this reread also I've decided that because I was actually planning to read the illustrated edition physically but it's so heavy and it's really annoying me so I actually decided to just read this physically and then once I have read however many chapters I'll flip through the illustrated edition to see like the illustrations which by the way there aren't that many which makes me a little bit sad I guess that they had to limit it because it was so huge but I feel like I'd rather like part one part two to have more illustrations I don't know like they didn't even do an illustration for when Bo Baddens came in and I was like what the hell so I also wanted to talk about some book mail because while I was sick in bed I received a lot of good book mail so this is a book that I got off book depository and it is the nightmare before dinner and it is a cookbook and obviously I'm moving out so I want to slowly buy some cookbooks and stuff because I'm gonna be cooking more so when I saw this I was like oh my goodness this is so cool because I actually didn't know there is the beetle house in New York and some of the places I think and it's basically like a Tim Burton inspired restaurant and it looks so cool and now I really want to go there one day but anyway so the owner and like the founder of the Beetle House released this cookbook and it's obviously like the nightmare before Christmas time before dinner I absolutely love it and I haven't tried cooking anything yet but it's really cool and at the front it gives you like the vegan options so it has all the vegan substitutes which is really cool and yeah it's just so cool and I also just love like what it looks like and everything I think I'm going to display it in the kitchen but yeah I'm so happy with that and then the book that I'm so excited about The Art of Junji Ito Twisted Visions so this was sent to me by Simon and Schuster Australia I requested it because because I saw that this was a thing that was coming out and I was like oh my goodness this is like everything so I asked them if they had any early copies and they sent it to me and I'm so 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 grateful this is literally one of the coolest books I own now so obviously over the past few months I've gotten really obsessed with Junji Ito and this is basically just like a stunning coffee table book filled with his art so yeah obviously absolutely stunning cover just look at that and that's what it looks like under the dust jacket this is coming out soon by the way I'll put the release date here because it's coming out soon but yeah I'm just so so obsessed with it so it's basically just a collection of his art which is stunning oh my gosh I'm just so obsessed and I'm definitely going to be displaying this on my coffee table in my new place I'm just so so thankful so thank you so much Simon & Schuster this is like one of the most exciting packages I've ever received like I'm just so obsessed like just look at that I love it okay then I received this cool box from Penguin. So this is The Dark Tide and it's an arc. So this is actually so exciting because it's basically a dark fairy tale and it has queer main characters. So I believe there is a female female romance. So yeah, and on the back it says Stephanie Garber's Caraval meets Sarah J. Mass's A Court of Thorns and Roses. So yeah, it's a dark fairy tale fantasy about two girls who must choose whether to save themselves, each other, or their sinking island city. So I'm definitely super intrigued by this. I love a good dark fairy tale. So this is coming out in June, 2nd of June. So hope I can read it before then, but thank you so much for sending it to me. I am very excited about it. I have another box here, and this is from Walker Books. So this is The Unadoptables, 
by Hannah Took and they really nicely wrapped it. This is such a stunning um, arc. They also gave me some syrup wafers, which is really cool. And this tea bag, which actually says Chloe's Unordinary Blend, which is so cool. So yeah, I'm super excited about this. This is actually a middle grade. Oh my gosh, this is a collectible limited edition proof. That is really cool. So it says, on a cold, dark winter's night in Amsterdam, a group of unique orphans dive headlong into a most unordinary adventure. Ooh, so it's supposed to be wonderfully funny. It's supposed to have spooky gothic magic. Oh my gosh. So yeah, it sounds like it's going to be a fun middle grade adventure story with amazing characters. So I am excited. So thank you so much. I'm so excited to have my tea. So the next two books were actually sent me from the author directly. They reached out to me and asked if I wanted these books. And I actually receive so many book review requests in my email every day. So I don't usually say yes because it's just overwhelming to be honest. But these really caught my eye. One mainly because of the cover. <laughs> Not gonna lie. But then I looked into it and it sounds really cool. Plus I looked it up on Goodreads and it had some really good reviews. So I'm actually really excited about it. And so thank you so much to KJ Sutton for sending me these books. This is Fortuna Swan and the sequel Restless Slumber. And just look at these covers. They're so pretty and they're really nicely made. Like it's a really nicely made paperback. It's like that good material, like that soft cover material if you know what I mean. <laughs> but yes, yeah, so, oh, and like even the back is so pretty. But yeah, so basically it says we were meant to be seductive. We were designed to lure humans in. Fortuna Swan is the last of her kind. Her brother disappeared two years ago, leaving her with no family or species to speak of. She hides among humans, spending her days working at a bar and her nights searching for him. The bleak pattern goes on and on until she catches the eye of a powerful fairy. He makes no attempt to hide that he desires Fortuna and in exchange for her he offers something irresistible. So Fortuna reluctantly leaves her safe existence behind to step back into a world of creatures and power. It soon becomes clear that she may not have bargained with her heart for her very life. So yes it's a fantasy book, it's a fairy book. I love fairies and I feel like I don't actually have many books that have fairies in them so I'm really excited about this. But yeah I will leave all these books linked to my description as always if you want to check them out but I have one last book to open and it's actually wrapped which is very nice so let's open it I need to go live in like a minute so let's be quick <laughs> okay so it is burn by Patrick Ness so this is an art copy from Walker Books and it's coming out in May. This is such a cool edition. I've only actually read one Patrick Ness book, which was A Monster Calls, which I absolutely loved. So I'm definitely interested to read more of his books. So it says, on a cold Sunday evening in early 1957, Sarah Dewhurst waited with her father in the parking lot of the Chevron Jet Gas gas station for the dragon. Ooh, he hired help on the farm. Oh my gosh. Okay, so it involves a dragon, which means it's climbed up to higher on my TBR. <laughs> That's literally all I need to know. If it involves a dragon, then I want to read it. So <laughs> thank you so much to everyone who sent me these books. I'm so thankful and it was really nice to receive some amazing book mail while I was sick in bed for the week. I need to go live like now. So I will update you later. Okay, so I'm currently on my live. Everyone is here with me. We're reading and gaming. I'm just gonna set up my camera. Oh, sorry, did you wanna say hi? <laughs> if you wanna say hi to the vlog, say hi. <laughs> okay, so yeah, I'm up to the four champions. I just reached the iconic line. Did you put your name in the Goblet of Fire, Harry? He asked calmly. <laughs> wow, he ditched. Okay, so I just finished my live. It was so much fun. Thank you so much to everyone who came. It was literally just so wholesome and I loved it. But anyway, so I did get up to page 288 of Goblet of Fire. So I'm now on the weighing of the ones. Oh, and I'm just loving this. Um, I think I'm planning to at least get to page 300 today, but I am planning to play more Animal Crossing and I just need to chill out because I did speak quite a lot and my throat's starting to hurt a bit again. But before I do that, I wanted to quickly show you because I was trying to show my live stream, but it's obviously hot, but I want to quickly show you just around my town a bit, well, around my island on Animal Crossing for those who care. Okay. So so this is what I look like. I think I look so cute. Let me just get rid of my axe. I have the cute little bun. I designed this simple white sweater. I got my cool Nook ink slippers and my cute little Nook ink backpack. And this is my little house. I got this house yesterday and I love it. I have some little decorations outside like these flowers that I planted. 
and this cute little fireplace but yeah inside of my house kind of boring i haven't put much effort into the inside of my house yet because i don't have much cool furniture so at the moment i've just stored things like everywhere but yeah this is not how i want it to look but once it's cool i'll definitely show you because i'm really excited <laughs> so yeah i also have my little workstation and then i have all my bugs and fish that i'm planning to donate to the museum once it opens as well as some fossils so that's not always going to be there <laughs> i put this cute little fireplace here i planted some trees so these are my coconut trees that i'm planning so these are my coconut trees that I planted yesterday and yeah so that's pretty much it these are some flowers that I planted but yeah I'm so excited for my island to just get super super cool and it's gonna be amazing so it's later in the day now I was actually playing Animal Crossing and I went to my first friend's island I went to Caitlin's island it was so fun it really made me so happy it just reminded me of the good days when I would play Animal Crossing in year six and my friend and I would visit each other's towns <laughs> yeah so it was so fun but I've actually just been working on my Patreon letters and now I'm just going to get up to at least page 300 of Cobra Fire. I'm actually on the phone to Telstra, so <laughs> I have their stunning hold music as my background noise, but yeah. <laughs> but yeah, so that is my update, and yeah. Okay, so it's been a few days. I haven't updated because I actually started to feel a bit worse, like I felt sick again. But I'm actually just going to play some Animal Crossing while listening to more of my audiobook, and hopefully I can finish that book soon. <laughs> Okay, so it is the next day. I did listen to more of my book. I actually didn't listen to as much as I wanted, but anyway. So I now have two hours remaining, which means one hour since I listened on Two Times Speed. But I don't think I'm going to finish it tonight because I think I just want to relax and watch a movie with Callan, so probably not. But definitely, like, within the next few days. <laughs> anyway, I actually received two packages in the mail today. I think this vlog is filled with book mail. I do not usually get this much within such a short period of time, but exciting time times when it comes to my mailbox. The first one is from Penguin Random House and I don't know what it's gonna be so let's see. Interesting. Okay I've never heard of this but it's so floppy. Okay so this is The Last Migration by Charlotte McConaughey and it is a proof so when does it come out? Oh my gosh, it says it's coming out in September. So that's actually in ages. This sounds pretty interesting. It says it's a wild, gripping and deeply moving novel from the west coast of Ireland to Australia, heaven to me, <laughs> and remote Greenland. Through crashing Atlantic swells to the bottom of the world, this is an ode to the wild places and creatures now threatened and an epic story of the possibility of hope against all odds. I'm assuming it's going to really be focusing on how we need to save our planet and stuff like that. So that is actually really cool. I don't have any books like that so thank you okay then i have this package which i assume is also books oh oh my god oh my god this is so cool okay look at this okay so it's a book but it looks like it's a vhs it says i know what you'll read this summer arrow lake and like just look at this it's so freaking cool look at that oh my god oh my god this is so Cool. Oh my god, this is like my new favourite arc. Like, are you kidding? I love a good VHS. So this is Harry Lake by Kat Ellis. 
blockbuster. Oh, this is so cool. So it says Stephen King meets Hitchcock for the Netflix generation in Hallow Lake, the most nerve shredding thriller of the year. As you may know, I've really just been in such a thriller mood, so this makes me excited. This is such a cool arc. Oh my god, I literally can't get over it. So it says Harrow Lake is a small town with a gory history and its own monster mythology. Local legend has it that Mr. Jitters, a recluse, was trapped underground in a landslide and survived by feeding off the dead. Now that he's got a taste for flesh and wants revenge on the town that ignored his cries for help. Okay, this sounds so fun. Like, this is really high on my TBR. Yeah, like, this is so cool. And it sounds like just the... What was that? Oh my goodness. <laughs> and the synopsis really intrigues me. Oh, this is so cool. So thank you so much, Penguin. Then I also have Camp by L.C. Rosen. So it says, she's all that for the drag race generation, the ultimate feel-good LGBTQ plus rom-com from the author of the acclaimed Jack of Hearts and Other Parts. Okay, so Jack of Hearts and Other Parts has been on my TBR. Like I have wanted to read that. So this is super exciting. It comes out on 20th of May. So it says it's sweet yet sharp, grueble, comedy critique of toxic masculinity within the queer community. This is another one that's super high in my TBI now, so oh my gosh, amazing mail! <laughs> Thank you so much Penguin for the books! Hey everyone, so once again it's been a few days but I'm really feeling so much better now. I'm basically 100%, I would say like 95%, so I'm really happy about that. But I have made some more progress with my audiobook, but I haven't finished it yet. So I have one hour and nine minutes remaining, so I will finish that book in this vlog. <laughs> but I'm actually just getting ready to go live on YouTube. I'm going to do like a get ready with me live stream with Penny. I thought that'd be really fun. So yeah, I'm just about to go live in like 10 minutes or so. But I want to take this time to talk about the sponsor of the vlog Skillshare. So Skillshare if you don't know is an online learning community for creatives so millions come together on this platform to take the next step in their creative journey and they offer thousands and thousands of classes on so many different topics including motivation, illustration, photography and yeah basically any topic that you can think of and they have different level classes for each topic so they have like beginner classes, intermediate classes, higher level classes, all that. So literally everyone I'm sure will find a class for them that suits their needs and most of the classes are under 60 minutes, so you'll definitely be able to fit it into your schedule too. The most recent class I actually took over the past few days, and that was Simple Productivity, How to Accomplish More with Less by Greg McEwen. I absolutely loved this class. This is definitely one of my favorite Skillshare classes I've taken. I just learned so much. And I was actually kind of hesitant about taking like a productivity kind of class because they don't always work for me, but this one really spoke to me and I just really loved everything that he was saying. He basically talks about essentialism, which I'd never heard of before. And and basically just talks about how we simply can't do it all. Once we say yes to something, we're saying no to something else. So it just made me really want to incorporate essentialism into my life and prioritize things and just make more efficient use of my time and everything. So yeah, I just really learned a lot from that class and highly recommend it. So if you want to take that class or any other class on Skillshare, you can join Skillshare for a really affordable price. It's less than $10 a month with an annual subscription and members get unlimited access to all of their classes. But if you want to just test them out, Skillshare is giving the first 500 people who click on the link in my description description two free months of the premium membership so if it sounds something like you'd be interested in definitely click on the link and join Skillshare and explore your creativity and all that I know that a lot more people are working home at the moment so it could be a good way for you to find how to schedule things because they do have a lot of time management classes and stuff like that so yeah it's just an amazing platform and I just really appreciate how there are so many high quality classes on there for such a good price so yes thank you so much to Skillshare for sponsoring the video once again click the link if you're interested and yes so now I'm going to get ready to go live. I definitely need to go live now. And I'm also planning to film today. So yes, I'm excited. And I'll probably check in with you tonight and hopefully finish the book. So yes. <laughs> okay, so I finished my live stream and then Penny and I filmed a video. So now I'm going to finally finish my audiobook, The Haunting of Ashburn House. Play some Animal Crossing and I'll update you when I finish with my final thoughts. Okay, so I finally finished The Haunting of Ashburn House. And I think I'm gonna give it a 2.5 stars. It was like a three star through most of it, but like, I don't know. I just feel like it kind of got boring and like, it's nothing special. <laughs> Definitely didn't hate it, but like, I'm gonna forget about it in like a week. You know what I mean? <laughs> so I think 2.5 stars is the rating, possibly even two, but I think I want to be a bit nice. <laughs> so like, cause I didn't like hate it. I, I don't know. 
I think it's 2.5 stars, but um, yeah, it definitely wasn't scary or anything and pretty forgettable to be honest, but I can finally update my board journal. I feel like I haven't added a new book in ages because I feel like I haven't finished reading a book in ages. So I'm excited to do that. So I'm going to do that and then I'll end the vlog and yeah. watching this video i hope you enjoyed i hope you're all well staying safe staying healthy sending so much love i hope you're having a good day or night and i'll see you in my next video